while we are working on our computer, if we have multiple screens, we can increase our productivity. But sometimes we may not have a monitor with us. In that case, if we have another spare laptop, we can turn that into one wireless monitor. Let's see how to do that. Now let's think this computer or this laptop as my wireless monitor. We will be setting that up. So for that, I'll go to Windows settings. It can be done on Windows 10 and Windows 11 as well. Let's click on settings. Once you are inside settings, click on your search and just type in PROJ or project or anything like that. We will get this option called projection settings. Let's click on that. Normally in your case, it might be always off or it is turned off right now. We can make two choices available everywhere on secure networks or available everywhere. That means the two laptops or two computers should be in the same network and I can choose available on secure networks as I am using my own personal Wi-Fi router. Then how you want to control the security. So whenever you project or whenever you share your screen from the other computer to this computer, whether you need to accept every time or you will be accepting for the first time and next time onwards, you can directly project. Maybe if you are on a trusted network, we can make it first time only. So whenever you are projecting first time, you have to accept the request from this PC. And do you want to secure it more? And you can introduce pin along with that for the first time or always and never. If you make it never, only you have to accept for the first time as per our settings here. And you will be able to share your screen from our other machine or other Windows computer. And if you are on a battery powered laptop, you have this little button over here, which may be turned on by default, which says Whenever a power source is connected, then only projection will work, otherwise it will not. Turn that off. Whether you are on battery or you are charging, it should not be a matter. You can project to this PC. And we are done with the settings. We can minimize it or we can close it. I'll click on this start menu again. I'll scroll down and I'll normally find a connect application. You'll see this connect system. If you don't find it, just search for it. And if it is not present, go to settings, projection settings. And here you'll find launch the connect app. We can do that from here as well. Let's click on that. Now this PC is working as wireless monitor. I need to switch my screen to the other computer and I'll connect to this PC. On my other computer, what I'll do, I'll simply press Windows K, K for Kolkata. And I'll see the connect wizard appears at the right of my screen. What I'll do, I'll simply click on this PC. As you see in the other screen, the name of the PC is Manisha PC. I'll simply click on that. And if you are doing this for the first time, as per the pin settings or whatever we set at the settings, you might need to accept the pin and other things. And here we go. We can optionally allow the mouse inputs or keyboard inputs from this monitor laptop. But we can simply click outside of this wizard and we can open up and it is Asking me whether I want to allow that input, I do not want to do that. So let's open any software. Now I am on my original computer and let's drag this window and here we go. And maybe let's open another software on the first screen. I can scroll mouse to the right. I can come here. As we see, we can split our screen and we can use as a monitor. We can change some settings from the main computer. Let's hit Windows plus P or the project setting. My default setting is extend now. That is why we see the different screens. And if we simply make it duplicate, we'll see the same things over two windows or two monitors. If I extend it, we'll see the different screens as previously it was in duplicate mode. Everything is in the first screen. Let me drag it to the right and maximize it. We have the different screens. And if we hit Windows P again, P for project, and we can even disconnect it. If I disconnect it, the wireless connection is ready again and the app is closed now. This is how we can project or we can share our screen from one laptop or one computer to another computer if they are on the same network. Thanks for watching. Catch you up in some next episodes.